I'm a gay teacher and I'm addicted to likes. Hey friends, I'm Joel Kowalski, the super brave teacher. And I'm wondering, am I addicted to attention? So interestingly enough, this is the part of this video where I tell you, so interestingly enough, this is the part of the video where I tell you to like this video, share this video, get this word, the word out that we, take three. So this is the part of the video, interestingly enough, where I ask you to like this video, share this video, and get the word out about the super brave teacher because every time you do, you tip Google and YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way for people like me, for LGBTQ plus teachers and students. We need to draw attention to this. This is not about me. This is about all of us. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So today, friends, we're going to talk about being attention-seeking, about being addicted to attention. It's something that I have been thinking about, I have been wrestling with, and I'm kind of stuck in this juxtaposition because, because I'm trying to tip Google and YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way for everybody. For I'm trying to tip the world, people. and. Fortunately and unfortunately in this day and age, we have social media. So the easiest, quickest, best way to get the word out is through Facebook, through Instagram, through Twitter, through LinkedIn, all of these platforms that I'm on. Yeah, check it out, check it out, check it out. But to do that, you need to promote it and you need to self-promote. So I'm on a mission, friends, to get 100 videos out at least to get the word out about this cause. And filming 100 videos or getting to that is exhausting. I'm like, coming on 70, so I got 30 more to go. So you can imagine, three videos a week, that's a lot of me. That's a lot of me trying to get the word out and trying to do that by pushing, pushing, pushing Google and YouTube, YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way. On the other hand, then it starts to turn into, okay, me looking at the metrics all the time and saying, is this working, is this working, is this working? Okay, this got more likes. Why is that? Was it because I posted it at seven in the morning because I posted at 12, and 12 noon or is it because I posted it around dinner time? Was it because of the picture? Was it because of the title? Was it because of being more vulnerable? Was it because of the video itself? What is it? And then I'm sitting because my knees hurt, ow. <laughs> and then, you kind of, it becomes an addiction. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call myself on it. I, I become addicted to responses. I become addicted to, to what in that video, in that picture, in that story, like hit a chord in you because I wanna do that again. I wanna do whatever it takes to get the word out about this channel and about this cause. But then like I said, there's that juxtaposition because I wanna get the word out on this channel and I'm also really coming into my own. I don't know how else to say that without sounding cheesy, but I really am. I remember when I first came out, I read the book Velvet Rage. It's a classic, classic book for gay men. And it talks about the three stages of being a gay man. And that is stage one, you're closeted. Stage, and pretty much self-loathing. Stage two, you're out, but you are doing everything to show your worth and to show how awesome you are. Like, there's not a gay gene that makes us all fabulous. There's not a gay gene that gave me this hair, that gave me whatever, that people look at me and think that I'm gay. There's no gay gene for that. There's no gay gene that made me a good teacher. It's usually gay people like me trying to overcompensate so that people don't think too much about being gay, right? So that's stage two, where you're just going over and above to prove your worth. But stage three, is when you, oh, it's wonderful. Stage three is just when you just get to lean in to whoever you are and be okay with that and realize that, okay, I'm gonna be a rock star teacher, but not so that you approve me or validate me because that's who I am. I'm not gonna pop my hair up so that you approve me or validate me. It's, I'm gonna do that because I like to. I'm not gonna put on a tank top. We talk about tank tops enough on this channel because I need you to like it or validate it, it's because that's who I am and I like it and I validate it for myself. So I'm stuck in this juxtaposition, friends, where I wanna get the word out about this channel and I wanna do everything possible and I feel like I'm not doing enough, to be honest. I feel like I'm looking at the results and I'm like, all this work for 
10,000 views, come on, Joel. Work harder, push harder. And then I was looking at my old YouTube channel when it first started out and I'm doing way better than that did way back in the day. And now it has hundreds of thousands of views. So it's just sitting in that of, okay, I wanna get the word out, but I also wanna be my authentic self. How can I mirror the two and do all the things necessary to get the word out, but not overthink about getting attention. So what am I doing about it on my end? I'm gonna keep working for all of you. I'm gonna keep working for you, gay teachers, lesbian teachers, transgender teachers, bisexual teachers, queer teachers, and I'm gonna keep fighting and advocating for you. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to tip Google and YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way. And there is gonna be a time and a place for that. And I've been really intentional with making sure there's a specific time when I'm filming these videos, publishing them, and I'm on social media to do that. But then when I'm not, I am not. And I'm, I'm saying that so I can be held accountable publicly for that. Even on my phone, I have all my social media stuff in a one folder that says, it's the you are enough folder and it's on the second page. I only have two folders worth of apps. And on the second page, you have to click on a folder that says you are enough to access Facebook, to access Twitter, to access Buffer, which is the way I post all these things, to access my YouTube studio, which is how I see how it's responding. I have something separate. I completely keep myself separate from that. And I'm sharing that so you hold me accountable to that. So that's what I'm doing on my end. And I also ask you to Continue to do what you're doing. I'm not putting this out there so you don't like these videos or you don't share them. On the contrary, like and share all the more. And, and, and thank you for that. It means so much. And I think it's time for me and for all of us to make sure that we're not just liking and sharing videos on platforms, but we're liking and sharing our stories face to face. So I'm also making sure that I'm having quality time with my husband, that I'm having quality, slow down, slow growth time with community and friends and church. I think that it's very important for all of us to realize, like it's easy for me to scroll on Instagram and go like, 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 thinking that, oh wait, that's enough. That's good enough for family and friends. I can only speak for myself, but it is not. I wanna make sure that I am having fun and hanging out with people I love and who can actually love me and hold me accountable and hold me in a way that we can't do it, frankly, on social media. So I think it's doing both, slowing down enough to be like, you know what, I'm gonna put this out in the world and I'm gonna be okay either way. I'm gonna put this out there and I'm gonna do my, my, my bit, my part, little by little. Because when I looked at my goals for the entire year, for for this year, you know what my biggest goal was? Slow growth. Slow growth. Yep. So it's kind of ironic that I'm like, why isn't this going faster? Why am I doing enough? When my goal this year that I knew I needed for myself was slow growth. So yeah, I'm working on my attention addiction. I'm working on it. I'm gonna keep holding myself accountable, keep holding me accountable. Thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for hearing me once again ramble about this stuff because it's important. It's, it's important to get little bits of our stories out there. And like I've said before, if it has to start with me, it's gonna start with me, but it's not gonna end with me. I am so excited for so many things happening in life and I wanna hear what's going on with you. So leave comments below, are you are you like me? Are you addicted to these social media apps and you're like, oh, I can't get off these things. Why are they like drawing me in? I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong enough. What is it going on in your life? Leave a comment below. I want to know. But I also want you to know that regardless of how many likes or shares or follows you have on any site or social media account, you are liked. Your story is worthy of being shared and you are enough just being who you are. And I'm gonna say to myself, Joel, you are liked. You are, your story is worthy of being shared whether it is or not. And you are enough just for being who you are. Bye friends.